What's up, JD Aliens? Man, I gotta tell y'all about my new bag. This thing is so awesome. It's made by Nomadic. It's the Nomadic backpack. So uh, it's hot out here, so I don't wanna do this right here. Let's go into JDL headquarters and I'll show you what's up on the inside. Let's do it. Oh man, God. It was so hot out there. It's literally 98 degrees, but it feels like 149,000 degrees. Could have fried an egg on that concrete. Enough about me and my first world problems. Let's get into this nomadic backpack. Dude, this is the bag. Like seriously, the bag that you probably should just get if you like to hoard a bunch of tech stuff. All right, let me bring it back here. That way you can see it in all of its glory. This material is some type of hypalon or something like that. It's actually two different types of material. We got like, wow. Yeah, it's like this. Let's just put it this way. It's weather resistance. Water is going to literally slide down this thing and you won't have a problem with you getting wet because the zippers are weather sealed too. Uh, it's not waterproof, so you can't like dunk it or leave it out in the rain forever. But if you get caught in the rain and you beat feet real quick into a building, your gear is not gonna be wet because we got two different types of water resistant material and it's coated with another water resistant coating. So as far as protecting your stuff from the elements, we're good there. Enough talk about that. I don't even know which pocket I should get into first, but I, I don't know. Let's just talk about the styling first. The styling, this bag is made for someone who kind of, you know, who, who, you gotta have some style. Like I like my vintage bag, but you know, it's not a good bag to be bringing around with you for every occasion because yeah, it's kind of raggedy looking. This right here, this is nothing but class, man. So it's a good bag for an average commuter, a business person, cause it still looks professional. Uh, it's good for school and stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you all the reasons why. And I guess we'll start right here at the bottom. It's got this uh, nomadic design on it right here. Then you got your nomadic logo. It's not overly branded, just a little bit. That's what I like, just a little bit. We wanna know who you are, but you ain't gotta shove it down our face. And they did it right, right there. So let's just do a 360 on the bottom side of the bag. You got this water bottle holder on both sides of the bag. You got one on each side so it fits the shaker cup so if your water bottle is about that thick right there you're good to go so i've got this bag packed out really good especially right here on the sides so the fact that this thing can still uh, fit a water bottle in here is pretty impressive and the reason why i can do that is because it has these gussets right here with this elastic uh, mesh right here then when you want to close it all you got to do is bring it close enough and it closes magnetically. There's magnets in there. Look at that, look at that. I love it. It's on both sides. So let's just look at this side too. Yeah, you see that? Look at that. Oh, that is so slick. I love that because one thing I don't like is to have loose stuff hanging off my bag. And with water bottle pockets, I don't use them a lot. Uh, so when I'm not using it, I don't want the pocket just like catching on stuff or stuff falling in it by accident. So that's a good look. Now on the side here, right above each water bottle pocket, we have a handle, which is a nicely done handle. I, I'm impressed with the handle that they put on the side because they made it to where it's actually durable enough. And it's, if you yank this bag up and it's, it's like loaded down real good, if you yank it up, the handles are not gonna be affected. They're on both sides. And that's another thing, they put a handle on both sides. So it doesn't matter which side you grab the bag on. Genius. Now on one side of the bag, if you lift up the padding, you'll see here that we have this secret pocket. Like this is your secret agent pocket right here. If you open up that pocket, man, you can get, yep, my fingers, man, that's a deep pocket. So yeah, you might get some stuff lost in there. So remember you put it in there because you'll forget about this pocket. And so will thieves if they try to run up on you and take your stuff out. So I don't know what you're gonna put in there, maybe some keys or an extra credit card or something. I don't know what you're gonna put in there, but it's tucked away from prying eyes if you do. But since I got this lifted up, this padding right here, it doesn't come up all the way. It's, it's fully attached at the bottom, but it does have a little snap right here. So you can kind of open it up and get into it and pry if you need to. Now on both sides, there is some Velcro underneath here. That way it can be a pass-through uh, if you need to put it on top of your rollaway suitcase or something like that. So it sits uh, horizontally on your suitcase. As you probably saw me do in the beginning of the video, if you wanna tuck these away and use this almost like a briefcase carrying style, what you do is you just kinda tuck them in there just like that, then you button it up. I can't, it's hard to do this in front of a the camera. There you go. So you just tuck the straps away, button it up, and then on both sides, it doesn't matter which side you choose, both sides you can carry this kind of suitcase or a briefcase style. I love the fact that you can do that without those straps dangling down as you carry it like a like a briefcase. So let me go ahead and tuck these things away. That way they're, oh, you know what? I don't want to tuck them away just yet. Let's bring them back out. Let's bring them back out. So this is what we got here. So we got these uh, this chest harness, right? Let's go over this first. One thing I love about this chest harness is that 
Yep, it comes off. It comes off on both sides and it's easy to put back on. Now, not all bags do that. I don't use chest straps only when I like I'm on vacation. Like we went to Alaska uh, last year and I needed my chest straps because my bag was loaded down. But that was about the only time I ever use a chest strap. But some people have to use it every day because you're on a bike or something like that. Uh, if, if you if you use them every day, cool, they're there for you. And what I like about it is that once you put it on, it has a little it has a little elastic right there. That way it kind of moves with you. That's something I do appreciate because as I've used chest straps before, they didn't really move with me and I'm, I'm kind of a thick guy, man. I got a lot of chest up here. So, you know, the, the fact that we have this give here is gonna be really nice when I do use it. But the fact that I can take it off and I don't have it just dangling around, I love having that feature because who wants a chest strap just dangling around everywhere when you never use it? So let me just put that right there. Now, we have a pass-through right here. This is kind of a reflective strip and when it's a pass-through, this is a feature that I really love because sometimes I just like to clip things to it, whether it's gonna be a carabiner or maybe I'll take some 550 cord and kind of braid it up on there so I can hang things from it. I love having that right there. There's not one on this side. This is where they've chosen to do some more branding, but that's cool. It's nice and minimalistic. Now, as we get to the handle, I don't think they could have done a better job with this handle. The outside of the handle is made of that same material that's just weather resistant, but the inside of the handle has a nice plush feel to it. It's plush, but it's sturdy. And it's not going anywhere so you can just snatch this thing up really quick even if it's loaded down real good and the stitching on here is done extremely well this is just one of those bags that's just going to last a lifetime this bag's going to be around longer than you are probably now let's get inside of this thing you, you see how it stands up it just stands up on its own that's another thing i like about the bag it stands up it doesn't like some bags kind of tilt forward or tilt backwards and you always kind of just have to do it just right nope this one just sits just like it's supposed to sit but another thing i like about the appearance of this bag is that it has a nice slim profile. Look at that slim profile. Now we do have, I'm gonna show you this ahead of time because I, I just want you to see the slim profile of the bag. This gusset opens up and then you can add like an extra four liters to the bag. So it, it's kind of a, a triangle shape. So it is more room on the bottom than it is on the top. But yeah, I still got extra room in here. And then if I wanna sit it up, it's still gonna sit up. So we don't have any problems there. Let me close this back up so I can demonstrate that again later as we get into the bag. But I know, I know you're ready to get into it, man. Let's go into the top right here. We got this top compartment, which is kind of a quick access soft compartment. Now you can put maybe some sunglasses in there or can you see in there? Get in there. Yeah, you can get in there. There you go. All right, so you can put maybe some sunglasses in there, um, a phone or something that you don't want to get scratched because it is kind of a soft nylon material. I chose not to put anything in there because there's literally a pocket for everything. I, I don't have enough stuff to put in this bag. And by the way, there is a cable pass through in the top of this bag. So if you got your phone in here and it's connected to a charger, which is located somewhere else in the bag, uh, you got the pass through to feed the wire through there. Now, before I get way too carried away with this video, I gotta show y'all the nomadic wallet, the minimalistic wallet. Now, I've always been a little afraid to try a minimalistic wallet because, I don't know, I've always packed around this quasi old man wallet. But look how tiny this thing is. It fits in the palm of my hand and everything I need in life is right here. So let me just show you how it works real quick. And I'm gonna give you a little bonus. So right here, we got a little stash pocket for your cash. All right, so I'm balling right now. So I got a nice big wad of cash here. So I don't know how many bills this is. Let me see here. So you can kind of get a feel for how much stuff you can stash in there. It is an elastic strap, so it can expand. But man, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bills in there don't be trying to rob me later because i'm balling today what so you got this little pocket right here you can stick some coins in there if you need to or just anything i keep my bills in there and sometime if i need to keep a receipt but this is the main compartment where all of your cards go all of your cards that you really don't use that much this is where they would go so i got a business card right here and i got uh my license back there and two other atm type cards and that way you just kind of slide them up like that as you need them and they sit right there in their little home but when you turn it around let's say you got that one card that one atm card or even your license whatever it is that you use very often and you don't want to have to dig in here and get it out you just pull this flap right here this little tab bam it comes up and you just push it back down when you don't need it so pull it up slide it out use it and then when you don't need it put it back up now i don't know if y'all saw that but that's my surprise right there bam this actually came with my bag so hey if, when you get your bag you can get 20 percent off or you can just buy a wallet right now you can get all four colors at nomadic.com and the promo code is nomadic 
20. We now return to your regular programming. But let's go ahead and open this up, this trap door right here. This is what I call the trap door. So you just kind of zip it down just like that. Oh, whoa, 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 let me back up. See, there's so much. I'm gonna start forgetting stuff in a minute, watch. Okay, so let's just zip this back up. Can you see right there? Let me get this in there. Can you see in there right there? That right there, it's lockable. So this front hatch right here is lockable and the main compartment is lockable. If you get yourself some travel locks or something like that. So let's just unzip the trap door. See how it comes down like a trap door? Like, phew, like a drawbridge or something. All right, so let's get into this bad boy. Now, the first thing you see is this RFID uh, safe pocket right here. Now this thing is massive, so I don't know what you got that can be stolen. Like, I don't, <laughs> what kind of identity you're trying to protect. Just put it in this pocket and you're good, man. You're safe. You got two slots for pins right there. Then you got two mesh pockets, which are about three fingers wide and they're about as deep as your fingers will go. And then we have another main compartment, which houses, you know, you, you gotta have that pick, man. When you're growing a beard, you kind of need to have a pick or a comb uh, close by. Anyways, I got some personal effects here, some lotion. I keep my lotion in a little baggy so it doesn't squirt all over the place. A little extra uh, emergency chapstick. Now, I know you noticed this wire. It's actually coming from a pass-through from the main compartment of the back because that's where the battery bank is. So you can feed yours through any way you want to. Like I said, there's a pass-through in the top pocket, pass-through here. So you can have your charger in any pocket and pass through to the other pockets. Moving on to the other side of the bag, I got some hand sanitizer and a little bit of floss because you know you gotta wash them teeth. All right, got that in there in this pouch right here. Then I got some gum and let me see, what is this? Oh yeah, I got some more chapstick and some, uh, some, some breath spray. Hey man, I'm real big on the whole dental hygiene thing and when your lips are as big as mine, you better have some extra chapstick handy. Just don't look, don't be judging me. Anyways, you got four of those pockets and right here I got some business cards and uh, what's in this one? Nothing. See, I just don't have enough stuff to put in this bag. It's got a pocket for everything. Now right here, this, you know, let me put this back to the side. Right here is the Nomadic. You see that right there? Nomadic. This is the Nomadic notebook. They have a calendar or a planner and they have a notebook. They're both styled the same way. There's other colors you can get. I think it's actually one more color. It's like teal or something like that. But this thing is awesome. I haven't written in it yet, but I just love it. I cannot wait to start writing my notes in here. So it has this elastic strap on it to keep it closed when you're not using it. And the pages are recessed on the top, not on the bottom. They're recessed on the top. And you combine that with the way the strap is positioned and it actually creates a pen holder so you can slide your pen in there and it's about the length of a pen and the thickness of a regular pen and your pen is always there when you need it so you just kind of open this bad boy up and let's get into it because i need to talk about this man this is something from nomadic that i really like okay you got plenty of regular ruled pages uh, to write notes in but they do give you three ribbons. I'm using the first one for my notes. This is the note section. So this is where I'll keep this, uh, this ribbon to kind of keep track of the notes. That way everything's in the same spot, uh, no matter where you put it. But they also have this ribbon on the inside, this elastic, I'm sorry, it's an elastic strap. So if you're in the middle of your notes and you want to put that there, that's, that way you can open this bad boy up and it's in the same position every time you open your notes. Sweet! So it's like having an extra bookmark in there. And then we'll go to another section. Let's go to the red section. So I got this red ribbon in here. It's just in here, they give it to you. All right, so the red ribbon marks the place where they have perforated pages. You probably cannot see that on camera, but these pages are actually perforated. And then we go to the gray section. Yeah, because I got another ribbon in here. It's a gray ribbon. And that's where you get to what they call whiteboard paper. And it's just plain uh, unruled paper where you can, you know, maybe do some drawings or something like that, or, you know, some sketches or whatever you got to do. And then we have like an organizational pocket right here. Is it a file? No, it's not a file, but what's in here? What is this? Wow, this is like photo paper or something. Yeah, so you can just, they give you photo paper. I'm not sure why, but yeah, they give you that extra file folder pocket. That way you can just kind of stuff some notes away if they're not attached to your notebook. And then you close it up. And once again, when you open it, you're still at the same page, but you have your book places, your bookmarks right there with the ribbons. And then you stow it away just like that. I love that notebook. That notebook is a huge bonus. Okay, so that's it for this side of the bag. You see all these pockets, man. We got pockets on the front of the door, pockets on the rear, a nice notebook pocket. It's a perfect fit for that notebook that you can buy from Nomadic. Ah, just pockets. This is like enough stuff to store most people's stuff, but we got a whole nother pocket to get into. This is where we get into the goodies, man. Look at this. Whoa! It just folds down. It just, it's fully exposed. It's just naked, man. You're seeing all of my goodies right here. Look at it. It's all of my goodies. Okay. Whew. 
I, I feel a little vulnerable right now. I got you, I'm all exposed, you're seeing all my stuff. Okay, let's just walk through this nice and slow. This is a big moment for me. I don't show all my goodies all at one time. Let's go to the door. See how it just peels back, and this is that pass-through I was talking about. Oh, we got an extra thread there. Uh, if you got an extra thread, you can just burn it off with a lighter. You should be all right. Just don't get it too close to the bag. <laughs> but that's the pass-through for that, that uh, soft pocket in the front. This pocket right here is where I keep my Snap Wireless uh, charger right here. My favorite charger, oh my God, this thing is wireless. You can put, just put your phone on top of it and it'll start charging. Like so, so many benefits to this charger, but this show is about the bag. Okay, so we got this main compartment right here. It is huge. And then we have another one right here. It is just as huge and it is stretchy. So you can put some stuff in there that can actually bulge out. But remember, the more this bulges, the more you're taking away from the main compartment, but there's plenty of storage in there. So you should be all right. Now, since I'm a YouTuber slash, you know, social media guy, you gotta have yourself a nice little tripod, right? So this is my square jellyfish uh, tripod for my phone. Just put your phone in there and you can snap your little selfies and stuff. All right, so that's empty. Got those emptied out now. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff, man. This is where my expensive goodies hang out. Look at all that stuff in there. Everything has a home. All right, so where do we start? Let's get this keyboard out of here first. All right, this is a full-size keyboard. This is my Microsoft uh, keyboard right here. Love this thing to death. I put that in there. I usually don't travel with this thing every day. I put it in here just to show you that you can. Look at that. This thing is stretchy and it's big enough to fit a travel keyboard. This isn't like a full, uh, you know, like a mechanical keyboard, but you could put, you could fit a full like Apple travel keyboard or something in there. Big enough for that or whatever you need to put in there. And then on this other side, we have a shorter pocket, which houses my Microsoft Precision Mouse. Love this mouse right here. This is the best mouse I ever used. And then on the bottom of that we have this is my RAV power uh, charger for my computer. I have a 13 inch uh, HP Spectre 360. It's in the back and I use this to charge up. So this is actually the charging brick part and it actually has a bunch of USB ports uh, that charge, fast charging, uh, they, they charge your devices. And here is where I keep the cables. Let me get to this in a second. Here's where I keep the cables for that. That is the plug-in cable and this is the USB-C cable that it uses. But in here, there's like a loop and you, let me, let me just put this together because this is how the bag is supposed to be used. Um, I'm not using it this way, but I can see how it would be useful for someone. So let me just put it in here just like this. This is a retractable key ring. So you just hook your keys on there and then you have that retractable key ring and the keys will end up in that pocket all the time. So if you want to keep your keys in that pocket, that's cool and they'll be in there all the time. Then you just pull them out, boom. That way you don't have to keep your keys in your pocket because some of y'all, yeah, you know, pack around too many keys in those little coupon things, the scan things that you have on your key ring. It's just too much to have in your pocket. But I guess you're wondering, why would I wanna put my keys in the bottom of the side of my bag? Well, it's because now I'll show you what I meant by the extra bonus in this bag and how it opens up. So let's say you got it all zipped up. Let me just zip it up. What we have here, on the bottom, we have another access. So you can get in here just like this and you just kind of sling it around just like this. Then you take the zipper from the bottom and then you can open up your bag and you have full access in there. It just peels open and then there you go. Your keys are in there and you can unlock your door, jump in your locker, whatever you need to do. Put it back in there, pull this back down. You're zipped up. And remember you have your locked zip right here as well. And then you can just swing that bad boy around your back again and you're on your way. That's kind of a genius move on a nomadics part, man. I would have never thought of putting your keys in the bottom of your bag like that, but it just works. Okay, so like I said, this actually sits inside of the little pocket here and there's like a nylon strap that you hook this onto and it's just there. But if you wanna take it out, put it somewhere else if you want to, that's cool too. It's detachable, love that they added that. This actually comes with the bag, super cool. All right, so we got these front three pockets taken care of, but wait, there's more. This whole thing. Ah, it just comes off, man. So let me just, let me put this to the side real quick. There's a lot going on with this bag, so much. This whole thing right here, this whole thing, uh, you could just take it out. I've seen other videos where you will have an option for three different ones. This is the one that my bag came with. I'm really glad I got this one because not only does it have these three uh, big pockets right here, one where you could fit literally a keyboard and then your other stuff like your mouse, but, we have this right here. You got like a file folder. You can put, you know, papers or something in there. And then it's a soft velvety pocket and you can put your tablet in there. Or in my case, my computer actually fits in here. And I'll show you that once I go to my computer, but my computer actually fits in this pocket. And then when you're not using it, you can just 
put it away or not take it with you. That way you're not bringing so much stuff. And then you just put this off to the side and you can just leave, the, leave. Like you could, let's say you were using the bag just to go somewhere real quick and you did not need a computer or your file. And you can just take this part out and you don't have it. That makes more room for your bag to have extra junk in it. So yeah, genius on Nomadic's part. Again, just got some Velcro back here on all four sides. And then this whole, let me put this right here. And then this whole back side of the bag is just that soft uh, hook and loop system that Velcro uses. So you got that right there, but I got pockets. I got more pockets. I told you there's literally a pocket for everything. So right here on this side, I just reviewed this item a, a day ago. This is the RAV Power File Hub. This thing is so awesome. You definitely gotta check that review out. It's basically a portable router that you can use and yeah, just transfer files. It's the awesome device. I call it the little black box that could. Then on this side, this is where I have my Thule Power Shuttle. So this is where like all my extra super dorky, geeky tech stuff goes. I like this thing because it's super compact and it's got like some weather resistant material and you can just open it up and I have all my dongles and HDMI cable and I have like a uh, yeah, pen, oh, headphones, like all my super geeky nerdy stuff goes in here because I don't like dongles all over the place. I like to keep my dongles together. I love saying that word, <laughs> dongle. <laughs> say it with me, dongle. Isn't that a cool word to say, dongle? Okay, let's move on. So this actually came in this pocket with this bag. This right here, my friends, this is a pocket. It's a pocket, you can use it for whatever you want to. Now make, keep note, that these pockets on this side are a little bit wider than these pockets on this side. These are like kind of flush with the bag where these have more of a, an opening. Uh, I'm guessing they did that on purpose. I like it. That way you can put bigger things over there, like the bulky stuff, and you can put the more slim profile stuff over here. But this right here is a sunglass case that's a hard case. It is a hard, hard plastic case. Uh, you can just take that off, put that right there. And then they even give you a pouch that you can actually clean your glasses with. Uh, and it's branded Nomadic. I I'm loving this touch right here. Now this does, I mean, this is literally three steps you gotta take to get to your glasses. Uh, going into your bag, first of all, and then, you know, take this out and then taking the pouch out. But I do have glasses in here, by the way. So you just put your glasses in there cover them up if you want to. You probably leave the cover off maybe if you want to and then put it right back in there and your glasses are protected in this hard shell case. So even if you drop your bag, it gets run over by a dump truck or something, your glasses are gonna be good to go in there. So I really like the fact that they actually give you this case. Like, It's just value and bonuses all over the place. All right, so now we are done with every pocket in the bag. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, there's more, there's more. Okay, so this flap right here kind of unfolds right there, that way you can have access into it, but it should house, I don't know, maybe a 15, 17 inch laptop, a huge laptop. Mine is, this is like overkill for my laptop. This is a 13 inch HP uh, Spectra 360. And like I said, mine actually fits into this thing right here. So you can undo that Velcro and it'll slide into, let me just put that in there with my tablet. All right, so it's in there with the tablet and it's, it's there. So if you don't wanna take any tech with you, let's just say you were going somewhere and you did not need like a computer or a tablet, you can literally just take this out, put it off to the side and you know, you're, you're good. Or what if, ah, perfect scenario, I've gone plenty of places where I've traveled with my bag, fully loaded up with tech. Then when I get to the hotel room, I don't need to be walking around with my computer and all this tech all the time. So I kind of just, I take it out, I'll put it in the safe or lock it under the bed somewhere. And this is a perfect thing that you can just kind of put your tablet in and your computer and just tuck it away. And then you can go out on the town because you're visiting, right? You need your bag. So you can go out on the town and your bag is fully empty, ready for you to go buy up some stuff and fill your bag up with it. So I like this thing right here. My tablet and computer actually fit into the same pocket of this thing. So that's a huge plus, I didn't even know that. But you do have a massive 15 to 17 inch uh, laptop pocket here. We'll have to look at the specs and see. Now this pocket is suspended a little bit. That way uh, when you put your bag down, your computer won't just go smashing on the concrete. So they protected you there. That is every compartment on the inside of the main uh, main part of the bag. Golly, I'm out of breath. There's so much to talk about. Did I miss anything? All right, let me let me just flip this thing around. All right, let's talk about this uh, this padding right here. I'm really impressed with the depth of this padding. I, I don't think this video can do it any justice, but this is a deep, deep ridge in between these pads right here. That way, the middle of your back 
just doesn't have sweat just dripping down there, <laughs> just going down your butt crack, man. Oh, that's so nice to have that breathing space right there because there's nothing worse than just walking around, especially in that heat that I was in earlier, like just to have the sweat right there. And then you have these ridges right here that kind of channel the, you know, channel the air and help you not sweat so much. And the padding is very, very comfortable. It's sturdy on the back, but very, very plush on this side. And the time that I used the bag, it was very, very, very comfortable. The way the shoulder straps work in conjunction with the weight distribution of the bag, it's a very comfortable bag to use. Um, I'm usually like the kind of guy that slings over one arm, but when you know when you need to kind of put your bag on, it wasn't a hassle for me to do. And then you, you just strap it down, man. Just strap it down, and you're good to go. And it feels good. The straps have a nice nylon mesh here, which uh, provides some more breathing for you. That way, there's just they're just trying to keep you from sweating, man. They they know that they made a professional bag and if you're gonna be a professional let's say you're wearing a button down you know what i'm saying you don't want sweat everywhere so they're trying to help you out man but the last thing i wanted to show you about this bag which i've already shown once is basically the fact that you can open this thing up just a little bit more so all that stuff i had crammed in there i didn't have like a sweater or a jacket or nothing in there even though it could have fit as is but all you got to do if you need that extra room is just take this zipper in the back just swing it around all the way around the other side and then you can open this bad boy up. This right here, oh my goodness, that's like another, let me see, I got one, two, three. All right, let me see here. We got another, that's probably another four inches worth of bag on the bottom side of here. And then you see at the top, it kind of goes into a, a triangle. So it's slimmer at the top and fatter at the bottom, but you get an extra four inches worth of bag at the bottom incredible that this bag fit that much stuff in there and you still can make extra room incredible no matter you did a great job with this bag man and if you were looking at this bag kind of on the fence about getting it i say go for it i mean it holds its shape very well i mean it's not collapsing so it does hold its shape you got water resistance you got literally a pocket for everything i'm serious dude i don't even walk around with all this stuff all the time i'm just glad to know that if i need to pack it i can pack it without worrying and then you got this compartment that you could just take out of your bag and not have it when you go traveling genius anyways enough about the bag man let's talk about my social media i'm on facebook like part-time like 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 30 percent of the time as far as twitter goes i like never use that but you can still follow me but as far as my instagram goes go down there man click on that link follow me on instagram i'm a pretty interesting guy no not really but seriously just follow me anyways <laughs> it'll be fine you'll be fine anyways man i ain't no expert on this kind of stuff but i'm digging this bag man i'm really glad i have it now definitely gonna be using this thing a lot but i gotta get out of here and if you had a good time checking out this nomadic backpack with me make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and i'll see y'all at the next one hey where you going? No, 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 no. Sit back down. We got to talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right, then. Hit the subscribe button. There you go. Reach down there. There you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You got to come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right. I knew you would. All right, man. I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?